The question today is, is tinnitus synchronized or epileptic firing in the brain? And the answer today comes from Dr. Egermont in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So the hair cells in the inner ear and the neurons that communicate the sound signal from each hair cell respond best to one pitch, but they do respond to others a little bit. After another relay or two, the signal makes its way to the thalamus. That's a really important deep brain structure. And a lot of information from all over the body goes through the thalamus to the cortex. So the signals from the thalamus project to the brain. And they project tonotopically, meaning that they end in an organized map-like layout. Actually, there are at least two tone maps in the hearing part of the brain. And there also is a sharing of information to nearby brain neurons. We end up with multiple overlapping sound maps, and this looks really confusing. Well, our, brains takes, our brain takes all this information and makes a great hearing out of it, a map that's really clear, a hearing that is really clear. So this overlap allows for great clarity and relevance and redundance in case there's damage. Since we combine other data like light and sound, uh, light that we see, other sounds that we hear, um, and things that we feel, things even that we remember, um, we take all that to make good sense out of the raw data, the raw electrical signals our brain receives. And this is marvelous design, but problems can occur. It's the copies to the side that the present research focused on related to brain synchrony, epilepsy, and tinnitus. These copies to the side are transmitted along horizontal fibers neuron branches that extend out sideways. Of course, they don't connect randomly to other neurons, but we don't know exactly which ones or why. The neurons that they do connect with and that seem to connect back are called an assembly. Think of this assembly of neurons like a click, but don't worry, no one's left out. So we have maps and assemblies of connected neurons. We know that these brain maps reorganize when there's hearing loss. This auditory map reorganization can even develop in animal models without hearing loss. We also know that synchrony develops with hearing loss that seems to be related to tinnitus. Synchrony is when these assemblies of neurons start firing off together in synchrony. Normally, synchrony is prevented from getting out of control by multiple braking systems. In the last session, we talked about the voltage-gated chemical brake built into the neuron. There's also a braking system where one neuron will break or inhibit others nearby. Well, something goes wrong in some circumstances with this braking in tinnitus and epilepsy, Parkinson's and others. The more we learn about the brain or even the human genome, the more we realize that we really know so little. We isolate the function of individual neurons, yet their function is driven not just by the activity of the neuron before it, but by the neurons surrounding it and the neurons in its assembly and even neurons from other sensory, memory, or emotional brain centers. So what can we use, what can you use now from this study? Well, as a holistic practitioner, I want to encourage you to embrace um, this nervous system integration that perplexes researchers. Embrace it by doing things for your health that you know are right, because everything makes a difference. Eating well, stress reduction, avoiding excessively noisy environments, good sleep, quality time with family, exercise. These are the things that researchers may see shadows of in their microscopes and tables of data, but ultimately it leaves them perplexed. What about future applications? Well, this synchronized assembly of neurons is a target for various therapies. This helps explain deep brain stimulation, transcranial magnetic stimulation, and is what neuromodulation attempts to address through auditory techniques. So I think being aware of the cause, or at least continuing to pursue the cause of this synchrony, is the way to go. Much like with patients with chronic back pain or headaches, will have changes in their brain maps that need to be addressed, they probably also need to have their joints adjusted, their muscles strengthened, and their tissues nourished to fully recover and prevent recurrence. So I'd like to know your thoughts. Please leave a comment or ask a question. Uh, if you have a particular research study you'd like to hear about, um, comment about that, link to it, 
and to stay connected to research and therapy applications, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and to be notified of new therapies and video postings, click the bell and subscribe to our email newsletter at tinnitusynergy.com. Thank you, and may God bless you.